In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this square text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. And this video is sponsored by Motion Elements. So let's get into it. So step one is to actually create the square before we go ahead and animate the text in. So to do that, we're gonna go up to the rectangle tool. It might be the ellipse tool, it might be the rectangle tool, but we want to select the rectangle tool. Then you want to make sure your fill is turned off. So we'll select the word fill and select this option here. Then we'll go into stroke, make sure stroke is turned on. So select solid color, press OK, and then select the box next to it and change this to whatever color you fancy. Then from there, you could increase or decrease the stroke, but don't worry about that too much for now because we can change this later on. Right, next step is to hold shift on the keyboard. And then we just want to draw out a square in the center of our video. It doesn't have to be dead center, don't worry. We can just turn on the proportional grid and we can just shimmy that over to the middle like this. Now from here, we can go ahead and increase the stroke to get this to a point that we are happy with. So somewhere around 100 or so works for me. So now we need to animate this on and to do that, we're gonna go into add and we'll add trim paths. We'll jump into the trim paths option and we'll pull the end down to zero create a brand new keyframe up end at zero seconds. Then we'll move over two seconds and increase that to 100. Then we'll go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease to convert those keyframes. And we end up with this. If that was too slow though, then just decrease the gap between those keyframes and you'll end up with this. So this is now our basic square animation. Of course though, we need to make some room for the text to appear because at the moment it is just a solid square and we want the text to spill outside. Now, before we can do that, we need to pre-comp this because if we try to add another mask on top, we'll just create a shape layer. So we'll right click, pre-compose, we could call this square. And now from here, we can go ahead and make that mask. So we'll turn the proportional grid on and we're just going to draw out that mask, something like this. Then we'll go into the mask and we'll go to inverted on mask one and we end up with this gap. And that's exactly what we need. And if we play this back from the beginning, the trim pass animation is still intact. So from here, now we can add our text in. So we'll go to the T icon, click anywhere in the video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Now I'm gonna treat this as a title card or an introduction. So I'm going to put a name and a title. So I'm gonna put Chris Brooker, which is my name. And I'm gonna turn the proportional grid on, center this up, and we're just going to increase the size of this. So that means going into the character window. So that should be under property. Now, if you've updated your After Effects recently, then your text window will be in properties and text. If not, and you've got an older version, then it might just be in the character window as opposed to this new text window. But essentially they are the same thing. This is the character window. And if you go into properties, this is a text window. So all the settings are the exact same. It's just a slightly new version of editing your text. So from here, I'm just going to increase the text to a much bigger font. I'm going to make this font a thicker font. So we'll go for black. Now use your best judgment here. See what works, see what you're happy with. I quite like the look of this. It feels like it's not taking up too much, but I might have to just decrease the mask. Then from there, I'm not going to animate this yet. I'm just going to copy this text. So command C, command V or control C, control V on windows. We'll change the weight back to regular. We'll decrease the size. We'll pull the position of that down. And then we'll just change this to a title as opposed to a name. So as you can see, we've got name and title. We can turn off the proportional grid and we can actually now move these two together. So I'm gonna select both of those text layers, press P on the keyboard to load position, and I'll just shift those down a pinch. And then we'll go back into the mask on the box. And we're just going to go into that mask expansion and we'll just decrease that down. So somewhere around here works for me, I think. Now, if you wanted to, rather than having that box, that separation in the middle, if you wanted it to just be around the name, then we could just select the mask and just move that up like this. So if we go into mask expansion and we pull that all the way down like this, then by moving the mask around, you can see we can get really precise and keep the title inside the box, allowing the name to appear out. 
So in that case, I would probably decrease the size of this title down just a little bit, just so it sits within the box comfortably. And this is what we end up with. So if we play this back, you can see the box animates on, but nothing happens after that. So we need to animate the text in. Before we carry on with this video, I first just want to take a very brief moment to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online marketplace for stock video, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro templates, title sequences, animations. There's so much for you to love there. And Motion Elements and I have teamed up for one year. They are the channel sponsor, so they are giving you an exclusive 70% off your first month when you subscribe. So if you want to speed up your editing and create amazing graphics in next to no time, then please consider checking out Motion Elements. The link is in the description below. Now, back to the video. So to do that, I'm just going to select my name. I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and draw a mask around myself there. Now you want this line to line up with this line just here. And then we're going to go into the text there, go into text, animate, and we're going to add position. Now there already is a position down here, but that's very different to this range selector one position. So we drop down the range selector one, we'll go into advanced, and there are more settings here that we can play with. So we are just going to pull the position down under that line so it disappears. And then we're going to animate this up. So around here, we want this to start animating. Now there aren't many different ways to do this, but I'm just going to control this with the offset. So I'm going to set the offset to zero create a brand new keyframe on the offset at zero. And then at the end point, which is here, I'm just going to pull that up to 100 and that will animate up like this. As you can see, very quick, very clunky. So I'm just going to increase the gap between those keyframes. I can also play with these settings a little bit as well. So I can change the ease high. I can change the ease low. I can change with these settings until it gets to a point that I am happy with. And I can also convert these keyframes as well into our easy ease keyframes. But this is what we end up with. Now from here, I just want video creator to just slowly rise up and fade from nothing. So to do that, I'm just going to wait until this animation has finished. And then after a second, I'm going to go into that text layer and create a brand new keyframe on position and opacity. Then I'm going to move to the left a second or two. I'm going to pull the position down, decrease the opacity to zero. And again, all of those keyframes get that special keyframe assistant, easy ease treatment. And when we play this back, this is what we end up with. I would argue that that was a bit slow coming in. So I'm just going to pull those first keyframes back. And that's what we end up with. So my next steps here would be to maybe add a nice gradient background. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I've done that in many other videos. And if you look just up here or in the description below, there is a video on how to do a four color gradient. So if you want to know, then go ahead and check that video out. As you can see, I've added in my gradient background. Now from here, I'm going to take all of those text layers and the box. I'm going to right click pre-compose and we'll call this title card. Then we can scale this down if we wanted to. We could maybe add a nice keyframe zoom in. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale at the beginning at 70. And then we'll go towards the end of the action and increase that up to 80. So this is doing a nice zoom in. I could also maybe go into effect and presets and search for drop shadow. That should be in the perspective folder. I'll drop that onto the title card play with some of these settings and that gives us a nice level of separation from the background. Now from here, I would probably maybe add a little bit of glow to this title animation. I think that could look quite nice. So I'm going to search for glow that should be under stylize. We'll drop that onto the title card and feel free to play with these numbers to get a nice soft glow. And you could also maybe go in to Venetian blinds. So we'll go into transitions, Venetian blinds, and if we pull the transition completion up to two, maybe three, we'll change the angle of this. You can see if we zoom in, we've got this nice texture appearing. And again, I would drag that to the very top so it's not affecting our glow or our drop shadow, but it's just adding a little bit more character. So there's loads of different things that you can do with this title animation. You can really make this your own, but that is how you would do this effect. Now, there's just one more thing that I need to do to finish this off, and that is to activate the motion blur. So I'm going to jump back into the title card pre-composition, highlight all of those, turn on the motion blur. And if you can't see that, 
then just tap toggle switches slash modes at the bottom. Make sure this is blue. And when we go back to our main composition and we render this out, you'll see we've got this really dynamic square title animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next one. See you there.